Mohamed Abda, un doctorant en génie mécanique à Polytechnique Montréal. Pour now, oh, sorry, for digital twins of fluid structure interaction system based on artificial intelligence and physics. Yep. Yeah, that's a long one. All right. Hello, everyone. This winter, it was minus 40 Celsius. And this January, Hydro Quebec recommended that all customers lower down their heating uh, to avoid uh, straining uh, the grid. Uh, because all generation units uh, were in use in, in their full capacity, which also means that all hydraulic turbines were running uh, at full load. So what will happen if all these turbines were overloaded? Or unfortunately, if any sudden failure happened? So how long will be the downtown downtime uh, in this extreme weather? So and how can we predict that? So this motivated us <laughs> to employ machine learning techniques to tackle these problems uh, using physics-informed neural network, uh, which is called PIN. So as many of you know uh, neural networks, is PIN a regular neural network? No, it is not. Uh, does it outperform regular neural networks? In many aspects, yes, uh, because it does not rely on expensive data uh, to train and learn. And sometimes it does, it does not need any data at all. So this is strange, but it's because <laughs> Uh, pins, uh, they only uh, rely on the equations that describes any, uh, 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 any physical system uh, to train and learn, uh, which also makes it unbiased, unlike any other machine uh, learning model or neural networks. And finally, it enables us to generalize uh, our uh, approximations. So how we can apply that into, into hydraulic turbines, as we can see here? Hydraulic turbines has rotating shafts, stator, rotors, bearings, many of sub like physical systems so by applying pins on them we can uh, approximate their performance and their physical behaviors and also we can approximate and predict the future behaviors too so now we have our physical model and we just created our numerical uh, model so now are they the same no are they twin not yet so what we will do we will connect them together uh, in real time, and they will communicate with each other. So we will feed the data from the physical model to the numerical one, and the numerical one will tell us what will happen and what's going on inside. And we, based on that, we will adjust our parameters to make sure that our physical one running on the desired values. Uh, this way, uh, we can know in real time what is happening inside our uh, turbines in extreme conditions, and we can predict any possible scenario. And what makes it interesting, all that happens in the virtual world for free at zero cost. And this is one of the ways to create a digitally twin to solve engineering challenges. Thank you very much. Thank you. My student job was to uh, take people to visit and take people in the in the the real one, not the virtual, a, a real turbine inside, yeah. <laughs> at, in James Bay. Yeah. It was more fun than the virtual one, but I understand why it's important to have a virtual one as well.